Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So I've been listening around on the amateur bands, particularly the 7cm band. And around about 433 and 920, I've been hearing loads of bleeps coming over the airways. And I'm thinking, what's that? So at QRT, I looked it up on the internet, and it's low power devices that are transmitting on our 70cm band. So in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to decode some of our low power devices on a 70cm band using this thing here. Now this is a cheap dongle. This is about 14 quid off Amazon. And this is a DVB uh, T plus DAB plus FM. It's one of these um, RT2820 uh, dongles. You can use this as a scanner as well um, using GQRX and stuff. But we're going to use Linux to decode the device using a program called RTL433. Now this was about 14 quid off Amazon. I also bought one of these as well, which is an MCX or MTX to BNC adapter. Allows you to play, plug a bigger antenna into the dongle. Because the antenna you get with this in the pack, if you get one at all, it's absolute crap. You won't get nothing off it. You'd have to be right near the transmitter to receive a picture. So that's why we've got the adapter, which will just fit in here, the top there. Let's go put this in the top. And you're going to fit in the top there. That's going to allow us to plug it into a bigger antenna, hopefully decode some signals. So let's go on the computer and we'll get everything set up. Okay, so we're on the computer. I'm using Linux Mint. We need to go into our software manager. And if you type in RTL underscore 433, nothing's come up. Let's do an RTL 433. There we go. You can leave out the underscore. We click on the RTL 433, it says decode 433.9 megahertz data. You can click there to install it, and it's uh, only a tiny little program, 6.694.3 uh, kilobytes. Once you go into your terminal, a bit easier to see. If we type in LS USB, and you'll see here we've got ourselves bus 001, ID 005. Realtek Semiconductor RTL2838 DVB-T. So it's found the dongle. Sometimes it might say RTL2830. might just say RTL2838 or 2838 plus 2830, 2830U and so on. Now these devices come under many different colours and forms. You get you can get them as SDR dongles with filters in them. You can get them as a, a black dongle. And I've got the blue dongle here and there's no elect. So what I'll do, I'll link in the description below what one I brought and what adapter I brought from Amazon. Now if we uh, clear the screen, and we just, uh, a little bit smaller there, just do an RTL underscore 433. And you'll see there it's found the Fit Fitty Power FC002 tuner, and it's registered 122 out of 149 decoding protocols. And now it's tuned to 433920. It's going to sit there and listen on 433920 until it finds something. Now, if you're in a built up area, then you're going to get a lot of data come up, like you'd see uh, end credits on a film. I know where a friend of mine lives, loads of data comes up on his screen. Mine, I have to leave it for about 10 15 minutes uh, for the data to come up. Sometimes I can leave it for 10 When I first did the program, I left, I thought, nothing's working on this. Then I did uh, left it for about 10 15 minutes. Then things started to come up. So what I'll do, I'll put you back on the computer screen as and when things start to appear. Okay, so I've left it for a while, and the first thing that appeared was at 22 minutes past 7, 32 seconds. We got ourselves a fine offset dash WHX080. I believe that is a weather station. Temperature is 10.6C. Total rainfall is 1050.9. Integrity, CRC, wind direction 19. If you go down, you can see there we've got an Oregon THGR 122, I'm not sure what that is, it's, tele it's probably another weather station, and temperature is 12.5C, humidity 81%, house code 134, I'm not sure what this means, I know what the temperature and stuff is, go down again, we've got another final set, so that could be the same as this one, wind gust, oh there you go, 2.5 on the wind gust, and it's 3.67, so when that come up, that might have been a bit windier, again it looks like the same thing, yeah, station ID 114, so go down again, you see here, we've got a car turned up, Renault, and it says type TPMS, and that's a tyre pressure monitoring sensor. And it's pressure in KPA is 243.8, and you can convert that to PSI, there'd be an online calculator, so I had to do so. That's the ID, 
and there is the temperature let's go down again see what else we've got they are getting a lot of weather stations turn up the main things that turn up are weather stations and tpms's but there are other things that turn up as well such as wireless doorbells let's go down see if anything else comes up but with the weather stations it's quite interesting to see what the temperature was and the wind speed and stuff so there's that oregon txg gr122n it might be the same as what we got up there and we we'll always go down again again all it is is fine offsets and oregon's coming through my way your results will differ depending where about you are let's go down Oh, and I've picked up quite a lot of stuff actually. Let's go right to the bottom. And there we go, you've got a Ford car come up, tire press, TPMS, uh, code 734206. Mike checks some, doesn't give a PSI on that one or KPA. Let's go down right to the bottom this time. See if anything else interesting comes up. At the moment we're just getting like uh, weather stations. Mate, it seems to be quite a lot of weather stations turning up. It might be the same ones that I'm picking up. Let's go right way down. There you go. So the last thing I picked up was at 2057. So I've left it for a while. If I do a control and C, which gives it back to the terminal. If I do an RTL 433 minus H, you see here. We've got ourselves some options here. You can change the frequency, you can change the gain, and so on. So I wanted to put the gain on. I do an RTL433, and we do a minus G. And if I left it, it'd go to auto. Let's just put zero in so it comes up as auto. You see there, the gain's now set. It says tune again, set to auto. You can do a control C. You can change that. Let's do it to, I don't know, 15, see what comes up. And it's going to should say there what the tune again set. Yeah, tune again set to 17. And there we go. Something's just come through as I've just done it there. Again, that's our temperature monitoring sensor. Now, to change its frequency, it, it receives on. If you do a RTL underscore 433 minus F followed by the frequency. So you wanted to do, say, 435, 1, 2, should there. There we go. We set the tuner to. 435 and I could do it to say 433 and that would do it to 433 you can to different frequencies let's do the help again oh I want to do a minus H there and there we go you can even display the output onto a text file and so on and you can even select which SDR you've got there by using D and some things you've got SOAPY SDR and so on but all I did was just plug in the SDR and run the RTL 433 and now that was a quick look at how to decode low power devices so LPD devices on 433 megs using the piece of software called RTL 433 now it is available for Windows yeah if you want to use Windows it's up to you it's also available for Mac but with Mac you have to use the Mac ports so, so this program compiled to Mac with uh, Mac ports, you can do a brew install. Tech, uh, Techmind's done a video on that, and I've got most of it installed on my Macintosh. I've been out and about, have a little play with it, see what, see what comes up. Anyway, if you found the video some use, I'd appreciate a like, a comment, and uh, maybe a subscription. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73 for now.